Welcome back to another episode of Cricut Design Space Basics. I'm Laura from Laura's Crafty Life, and today we're talking about using the Align tool in Cricut Design Space. The Align tool allows you to align two or more objects to the left, right, top, or bottom, and then you can also align the center of the objects vertically or horizontally. Lastly, you can use the Align tool to distribute the objects evenly, left to right, or top to bottom. When you're creating a project in which you have multiple objects or text, you often want to be able to line them up perfectly. The Align tool allows you to do this. Start by opening a new project in Cricut Design Space. You'll find the Align tool in the edit bar at the top of the screen on desktop. So let's start by adding a couple of shapes to the canvas. We'll add a circle and a star. Now I'm gonna change the color of these just so it makes it easier for everybody to see what I'm doing. So now you can see we have the circle and the star, but they're not lined up in any way. So you're gonna start by selecting both shapes. You can do this by dragging your mouse across both shapes or images, or you can click select all at the top in the edit bar. Once you have your object selected, you're gonna click align and here you can see you can align them to the left, right, top, or bottom, and then also center them. So for right now, let's click Align Top, and you can see that the star moved up to be aligned with the top of the circle. If you wanted to center the star on top of the circle, click Align again, and then you can either click Center Horizontally, Center Vertically, or if you click this center, it will align them both horizontally and vertically all in one step. And the way that center works is that when you're selecting both objects and then aligning them to center them, it will choose the centermost point of each object and align those together. The align and center tools work on both text and shapes or images. So let's add a text box. I'll type out the word circle. Let's change the color. And let's say we want to align the circle inside, the word circle inside of the shape circle. So you, you can see, I, you can get it pretty close by just eyeballing it, but if you select both the circle shape and the circle word and then click align and center, then you'll, you can see that now it's perfectly centered inside the circle. So one thing to note is that when you're using the align tool, whether you're choosing left, right, top, or bottom, is that the objects or images or text will all align to the furthermost position of the items that you have selected. So for example, if we choose a line left, the circle is on the left, and if we choose a line left, the star moves over to the furthermost left point. So now again, like so when we did when we started, if we're aligning top, you can see the circle was on top, so the star moved up. But if we align bottom, the circle moves down because the star was the furthermost bottom part. So whenever you're selecting your items, just be aware of where they are positioned inside the selection box and that will help you to align your objects more easily. So to use the distribute button, you need to have more than two objects. So if you have just two, you're, you, you're gonna have to move them manually to space them out. But here you can see, so if we put this heart here, that the heart is much closer to the star than the star is to the circle. So if we want these three objects to be evenly spaced apart, meaning there's an equal space between the circle and the star and the star and the heart, you'll use the distribute button. Distribute horizontally means you're spreading things out evenly left to right. If you're using distribute vertically, it means that they're spaced apart evenly top to bottom. So we want them spaced out evenly from the left to the right, and you're gonna click distribute horizontally. So now there's an equal space between the star and the circle and the star and the heart. But you'll see here that the objects are not aligned. So they're not lined up on the top or the bottom. So to do this, if you wanted them all to be centered straight across is you would click align and then you would center them vertically, meaning along from top to bottom, they're going to be centered. 
And so now they're all lined up perfectly. So for the distribute tool, even if let's say we move the star over here, so there's still circle star heart, um, the star is in the middle, the distribute tool will still distribute them based on which two objects are on the outermost edge, not based on where they're located on the layers panel. Sometimes you need to do something a little more complicated than just centering two images or lining things up in a row or column. So I'm going to start by adding some images to the canvas so I can show you what I mean. So let's say you're trying to create a print and cut sticker sheet with these rainbow images. You can always choose to just add your images to your canvas, click make it, the Cricut Design Space software will try to line things up to use the least amount of whatever material you're using possible, which in this case would be a sheet of sticker paper. But you can see that none of the rainbows are together, lined up nicely, and it looks a little haphazard. So of course you can always just try to manually line things up here and get things kind of even but they're never going to be exactly perfect. It's really hard to do that um, just using a mouse and dragging things around. So I am going to show you how I typically tackle a project like this. This is what I found works the quickest when I'm trying to make a sticker sheet. So I'm going to start by selecting the first column of rainbows. I'm going to click align and then center horizontally because we want to be want them to be centered right down the middle. Then we're going to do the second column, do the same thing, align, center horizontally, and then the third column. And now we're going to do the same thing for each of the rows. We're going to do a line, and this time we're going to center vertically because we're wanting them to be centered from top to bottom because it's a row. Again, center vertically, select the bottom row, align, center vertically. So that already looks pretty good. Um, you could definitely leave it like this, but if you want the rainbows to be a little more evenly spaced, this is when you're gonna use the distribute. So we're gonna do basically the exact same thing where we work on each column and then each row, but this time we're gonna choose the distribute tool. So we're selecting the whole column, align, and then distribute vertically. You can see it barely moved that rainbow. So we were already pretty close. Same thing, and we're gonna just do this for each column. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the rows. So we're gonna click the top row, and this time we are going to distribute horizontally because you can see you want them to be distributed in between this side and this side. You can see it's moving it just barely over just a little bit. And there you go. Now all of your rainbows are perfectly lined up to be cut out on a sticker sheet. If you want them to stay exactly where they're placed when you go to click make it, you're gonna select the whole set of images, so all nine rainbows, and then you're gonna click attach. When we click make it, you can see now everything is lined up really nicely. It will cut around the sticker sheet and you'll have a really nice professional looking sheet of stickers to keep for yourself or gift or even sell. I hope you found this tutorial on a line helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Check back and subscribe to my channel for more Cricut Design Space basic tutorials. Mm -hmm.